Okay, so let's see what we're going to do today. Bitcoin is on dark red. Ethereum on light red. Avalanche on dark green. Ave on light red. Okay, so now we're going to go to to um, our bank on MetaMask. We've got to make sure we're on the Avalanche blockchain. We're going to go to the browser. Make sure we're on ave.com and now again we don't want to spend our cash we're, we're about over a thousand remember we started this wallet with one thousand dollars we're already at one thousand four dollars so we're going to borrow usdc to do it they're willing to lend us up to 626 dollars of usdc what's five percent of 626 626 times 0.05 $31. Okay, so we're going to borrow $31. Borrow, pay the gas fee. Reason why we're borrowing is because I want to keep the loan safe. I want to make sure we have USDC on in our collateral and right now we have 415 dollars of usdc in our collateral and that's going to keep our loans safe we can go and borrow up to 400 dollars and be safe but because this month we're starting off and there's not new money coming in i want definitely to always have usdc always actually your bank always should have usdc in it all right so now we're here i borrowed and now I'm going to deposit that USDC max. So now I deposit that borrow into the bank. And why would I do that? Again, I want to have it there so when I am ready to use it, um, I'm going to swap this 31 for Bitcoin right now. Okay, so sometimes this happens where MetaMask gets stuck. So what I just did is I just swiped out of the app and came back in. So now browser. I'm going to deposit this. See how now the confirm button works. And now I'll have 31 more dollars. So far I've borrowed $64 from my bank. But now I'm gonna buy Ethereum. I'm gonna buy Bitcoin with it. So I'm gonna swap the 31 for Bitcoin. Low slippage. Why am I doing this? I'm loading up on coins that are down in the market. Oh wow. I need more avalanche to make this transaction. Wow, so Transaction cost a lot of money. Hold on, let me see something. Wallet. So wait, they just charged me like $40 to make a transaction. All right, so here, let's see this. Transaction history. Gas fee was 0 0.06 AVAX. View on C chain. So it was 3096. Transaction fee was $8.76. Wow. That's a lot. And I had $40 there though. Let me see something. View on chain. $12 in fees. So this is where you have to understand that the more money you have in these networks, the better. Because if you're starting with very small amounts, this stuff will eat into your profits, right? It started with a $1,000 wallet, but right here is $22 of fees. That's crazy. So now I have to load up more Avalanche to buy this so okay it's not letting me deposit so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to take some of that 
USDC. And I'm going to have to buy some Avalanche. So, you know, it's the cost of doing business, right? And this is where you really have to understand all of this. And this is why I also do this on the Polygon blockchain. Because the Polygon blockchain is cheaper. The gas fee is cheaper. So I'm going to make USDC. I'm going to swap. Oh, I should have the Oh, I deposited it. All right. So let's see if I borrow more to, for gas fee. All right. So I'm going to go back to Ave. Let's see if they let me borrow. If I can borrow, if the gas fee is low, I'm going to borrow $30 more for gas fee, which is pretty crazy. The gas fee is getting really high. Oh, look at that. I think this is tied to Ethereum's gas fee. All right, I'm going to close out and come back and see if it's a different gas fee. Browser. Borrow. No, wow. So what I'm going to have to do is bring in more gas fee, more AVAX from another wallet. So this is another reason to have multiple wallets, right? Because right now, I don't have enough AVAX to do anything. So what I'll do is from another wallet I have, I will send AVAX to this wallet to be able to make this transaction. Um... This is where the understanding of the blockchain and why you pay gas fees is important. But there is something to be said for these gas fees going higher and higher. And I should research why this is happening um, to make sure, you know, people understand and, and I understand. Because this does come out of the, the profits that we're creating. But at the end of the day, there's really no other way to do this. And when we, when we grow... When Ethereum and Bitcoin and Aave grow, it's going to be a lot more than those transaction fees. We, we will be able to grow our bank. Also, so you understand, those transaction fees are taxable. They're, they're not taxable. They are tax reduction. So every time you pay a gas fee, whatever money you make, they reduce it by the tax fee you pay, the gas fee you paid. So it's like paying for transactions, the government understands you didn't make that money. You had to spend money to make money. So it keeps track of all that as well. So I will bring in more AVAX from another wallet. And I will buy Bitcoin. So after doing some research, there seems like there's a surge in the avalanche gas fees. Um, this is new. I haven't seen this before. I will keep researching and let you guys know what's going on with that. Thank you for watching. If you are watching, ask any questions you have. Please, I'm trying to have as many people understand this and take advantage. Thank you. Have a good day.